Hello to everyone. Let's have this very quick lesson. Okay, okay. I, uh, I can say revision. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So please don't forget to subscribe for more lesson content. Right. Yeah. So let's jump into our question paper. So this is a revision, by the way. Um, of climate and weather. Okay. Yes. So we're going to be interpreting and answering questions that are referring us to a synoptic weather map. Okay. Yes. So question one point two says. Refer to figure 1.2 showing a synoptic weather map. Okay, so this is our synoptic weather map, guys. Okay, so you can take your time and look at your synoptic weather map and analyze and try to understand it. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's it. Okay, so let's jump to our very first question. Very first question says 1.2.1 Name the lines drawn on a synoptic weather map that depict or show atmospheric pressure. Okay. So, what are those lines, okay? Yes. We have to tell these lines, okay? These lines, these lines. Oh, sorry, guys. So, these lines, okay? Yeah. We have to tell these lines. So, sorry about that. Um, we have to tell these lines. What are the name of these lines? And please, guys, don't confuse these lines in a synoptic weather map with condo lines because most of the students, they confuse um, these lines from synoptic weather maps with condo lines. So let me first explain condo lines. Condo lines, guys, they are to show us um, the, the, the 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 altitude, right? To show us the land or the yeah, the land is steeper or or gentle. Okay, yes, those are condo lines. Okay, yeah. So condo lines are to maybe show mountain highlight area if ever they are close to each other, or to show land mean that the condo lines are going to be far apart okay yes yeah, so they're going to be far from each other okay if ever they are showing the flat land so in this case now we have lines in the synoptic weather map what do we call these lines and these lines are showing the atmospheric pressure okay yes either the pressure is low or higher and an end so these lines guys are called isobars okay so these are Isobars. I think I've answered the question 1.1, 1.2.1 is done. So let's move to 1.2.2. Define the atmospheric pressure of the line labeled A. So we have to identify the atmospheric pressure of the line labeled A here. Okay, yes. So it's clear, guys. Okay, I think you also know the concept of isobar interval. Okay, yes. The space between two isobars okay mm -hmm. so for instance in this case if we move for example let's say um, 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 um let's say from this point okay if we move from this point from the high pressure toward that low pressure okay let's go let's go let's go into this line here into this point how many isobars we've moved or millibars okay and from that point to this point okay yeah so we have one 1018 here and we have dash here it's looking for in this line and we have 1022 there so meaning that in this line a we have how much 1020 i millibars right yes 1020 millibars and that's it okay yeah so the, the difference between the isobars it's 20. Ah, so sorry. Yeah, it's uh, it's two, right? Uh, so 22 minus yeah, it's two, I believe. Yeah, it's two. Uh huh. And that's how it goes, right? Mm hmm. Mm, yeah. So it's 1,020. That's the answer for 1.2.2. 2.2, So let's move to 1.2.3. Provide the name of the high pressure system label B. So the high pressure system label B. What's the name of this high pressure system? Mind you, this high pressure system is inside or is located on the interior of South Africa. Okay? Yes. Meaning that this is the Kalahari High or Continental High. Okay, yes. So the name of the high pressure system 
label B is the Kalahari anticyclone or Kalahari high or continental high. Okay, mm -hmm. I've answered 1.2.3. Let's move to 1.2.4. Say the air circulation around pressure system label B. Okay, where's pressure system label B? Okay, this is the one that you're thinking about. So, mind you, the Kalahari anticyclone is an anticyclone. You always know that anticyclones are circulating in an anticlockwise movement. Okay, yes. So, it's anticlockwise movement. They are rotating in an anticlockwise movement. I hope you all know that, guys. Come on. Okay, anti. Um, anti-clockwise, right? Yeah. So this is anti-clockwise. Very good. So I've answered the, that question. So it's rotating or it's moving in an anti-clockwise movement or a circulation around that um, high pressure system continental high is anti-clockwise um, movement. Okay, or circulation. Whatever. Okay. Let's move to 1.2.5. So 1.2.5 says keep the general wind direction. At station model label C. So to give the general wind direction at station model um, lab model uh, C O P C right yes so C. So the wind direction of this station model right. The wind direction is what I hope you know that guys are on how to. Um, Indicate the wind direction, the wind speed, the temperature, the dew point, um, and an end. Okay, yeah. So now we are required to we are required to um, tell about the wind direction of this station model C. Okay, yeah. So the wind direction here, you, see, you can clearly see that it is southwest. Okay, yes, southwest. Okay, southwest direction or southwest direction. Okay. Yes, so it's southwest as you can see. So it's southwest, or you can just write fully when answering your information. Just say southwest or southwest direction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me just um, make some clearance here because some of you might not know what I'm talking about. Okay. So let's say let me just draw here. Let's say this is the state model. Um, let me just say like this. And like this, okay, yeah. So this is the station model, right? Yeah. So let's say um, so. This is for um, cloud cover, right? Yes. So if ever there are clear cloud cover, there's no black color there inside, or there's no one and a quarter, whatever the case may be, one over two, whatever the case may be, that the skies are clear okay yes the sky is clear however if ever it is shaded black there okay meaning that those are overcasted clouds okay yes and there is some high possibility of rainfall to take place that's number one so the head shows that the cloud cover so this this tail here i can say this body here okay this it shows the wind direction of what we have to talk about in that instance at C, okay? Yes. Or in that state model at C, so it's the wind direction, okay? Yes, wind direction. So what about things like fox here? They can be three, they can be four, they can be two, it can be one, and so on. So these are for what? These are for the wind speed. Tell us about the wind speed. However, it can be also so the number here, maybe let's say, it, um, it's um uh, it's six six will stand for the temperature and maybe let's say we have 15 underneath and 15 or let's say um five okay let's say five underneath so five stands for the dew point okay yes and here yeah, maybe if ever you have some temperature or maybe something like dots it can show you the current um temperature okay uh, yeah that's how it goes so the wind direction if ever it's it's looking this so let's determine the wind direction of this um this model up front here so it is you can see that it's east okay yes it's pointing east the body is it's pointing east 
and the one that we are supposed to determine here is the southwest you can see that direction right southwest direction south west so i think i've nailed that one guys explain it um try to explain so that you can all understand right yes let's remove that um okay so let's jump into the next following question your time is ticking um okay 1.2.6 1.2.6 says that name of the low pressure system label d what's the name of this low pressure system label d the name of this low pressure system labeled d here okay yes so this is the what this is the coastal low pressure system I repeat it's the coastal low pressure system and you know that this low pressure system formed on the west side or on the west coast and moved from west to east okay yes to the east coast okay yes you know the coastal low pressure okay yeah that's how it goes um yeah so let's move to the next following question next following question says let me erase that one guy so sorry uh, yeah so 1.2.7 says that um name this isn't being depicted by the synoptic weather map straightforward guys it's winter right it's winter you can see the high pressure cell there the south atlantic high pressure cell or the south atlantic anticyclone is there it's dominantly on the atlantic ocean and they are moved they moved upwards as well as the high pressure um cell which is called Kalari High, is dominantly in the interior of South Africa and then end. Okay, yes, so it's winter. So the season that is depicted by this synoptic weather map is winter. Straightforward, guys. Uh huh. Okay. Let's move to the last question now. So the last question says 1.2.8, then synoptic weather. Okay, so the synoptic map illustrates winter conditions. Yes. State. The name of the local wind associated with the relatively higher temperature of 20 degrees at E. So what are those winds that are warmer? Because it's winter now. Come on, guys, you know. So those are back winds because you know that they are warm, dry winds. And they move from the from the Kalahari downwards down the escarpment into the or close to the coastal low pressure. Okay? Yes, so that's how it goes so those are back winds okay mm -hmm. so those are, are back winds okay yes so yeah that's how it goes that's the end of our lesson video uh see you in the next following one have a great day yes